Hi guys. Uh, today's little video is about the uh, Skywatcher AZ GTI uh, Go To Mount. Uh, this little beast. Now, as brief as possible. This is the second one I've had. The first one uh, had problems with the declension bearing, which is this one, and had to be sent back and I had a replacement free of charge. But because I live in Thailand, uh, you can't buy these here directly. So I had to buy it in the UK originally, so I had to send this back to the UK, then the UK sent it back to, I think, Germany. Uh, you get the drift, then Germany back to the UK. So I lost three months of um, star watching, which is the, the, the prime time I have here in Thailand. Um, the other reason for getting this mount uh, was because I live in a very light polluted area here. Uh, and a lot of air pollution as well. Um, uh, I can't get around too much, so I thought a go-to would be ideal for a bit of astrophotography. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, anyway, like I say the first one failed, and the second one came along. And would you believe the azimuth uh, bearing, the left to right bearing, would solid, it would seize up. It, bind like this it, just, it would not go and of course the motor strained and it, it was just a nightmare so I looked it up uh, possible cures etc and I found on Star Data's Lounge um, so this work is not or not my original work I've just uh, um, made it more uh, easily explained if you like I hope anyway <laughs> I'm not sure you have to judge that for yourselves Anyway, the, the original idea comes from T.S. Robot, on, who um, posts on Stargazer's Lounge, so maybe you'd like to have a look at that first and see where I've gone from there. Uh, there is a video apparently, but I, I'm, I couldn't find it, so what I've done here, I've taken a series of stills of what I've done to correct uh, this problem. And it's worked out fine, by the way. So, now I don't suggest that you do this, this is the way I did it. I'm not responsible if you have a crack at this and bugger it up, basically. Uh, so, here you go, hope it's useful, okay? Now the only tools I used were a very, very uh, small Phillips screwdriver, crosshead screwdriver. Uh, as you can see, it's, a, it's um, a very small tip on it. You might need a larger one as well for some of the other uh, larger crosshead screws but I found this one adequate and the other thing you will need is a 1.5 millimeter allen key to release the grub screws and that's it oh and maybe a bit of grease if you do open up it's just as well make sure everything's greased up properly all the, all the cogs and everything the bearings in actual fact I use Vaseline rightly or wrongly I do not know <laughs> as its use is Vaseline Firstly, unscrew the declension nut and then remove the six grub screws that hold the back plate onto the main unit. Open up and remove the two connectors as shown. Unscrew the two uh, crosshead screws and remove the uh, circuit board from the base and remove the four terminals. Okay, now we have uh, to remove the four crosshead screws to remove the cover plate. And now we have the basics. Uh, this shows the uh, lock nut. Now there are four, uh, two, sorry, two grub screws on the lock nut. They need to be eased back and gently unscrew the lock nut. And that will reveal the bearings underneath. Uh, the rest of this is self-explanatory really.
Well, here's the uh, mount uh, reassembled and put back on the uh, tripod and pillar. And you can see, look how easily it turns now. No problem at all. And I shall try it out, that out later, okay? Uh, well, uh, everything worked fine. Absolutely fine. The bearings, uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. However, <laughs> the, the bug haunts me because now I've got problems with Wi-Fi connection. Connect okay, but it's not continuous and it keeps breaking off, so. Uh, that's another bane. I shall be trying to go back to my start adventurer and see if, seeing if I can actually find Polaris because of the light pollution and uh, the low um, altitude of the uh, of Polaris in the sky, but that's just over 13 degrees. It's it's a B, but we'll persevere anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Well, thank you a lot for watching this video. Um, if it's of any interest to you, perhaps you'd like to visit my YouTube channel and maybe leave a comment, a like, or a um, subscription. Anyway, there are many, many more um, videos on my channel, so perhaps I may have used you. Thanks for watching. Bye.